to the woman who asked me after a show if things between my wife and I were serious. <laughs> See, I didn't mean to turn you on. It was just a poem. Not meant to make you moan, not meant to take you home. I don't even know your name, yet you keep saying you came for me. Like you want me to wear your body out as if it were a new pair of suede pumas and it's 1986 like we're kissing cousins twice removed destined to be two naked truths when our clothing's once removed but I shall not be moved. Paper, poetry is merely a paper thin speech or perhaps a more artistic way to beg for brothers who claim that their poems stem from their third eye but only use it to gratify their third leg. But these ladies only look at poets through rose colored lenses. It's cool to come to the readings but first come to your senses and recognize that, the, that an ashe is not the equivalent of foreplay because the revolution will not be eroticized and what lies between your eyes means more than what lies between your thighs but when these words become misleading sisters go from waiting to exhale straight to lots of heavy breathing but see, I need a girl with dreads in her hair cowrie shell earrings, at least two pair a kente cloth bag and a conch just attitude. That's all I need to get me in a good mood. Side bet you if I said that the next day you go out and get yourself a head wrap, maybe outfit to match, maybe temporarily avoid getting a permanent. But what good is teaching a lesson if no one's intent on learning it? That's why I don't even do erotic head poetry half the time. Cause even if I can fuck like nobody's business, that's nobody's business but mine. And I'm not trying to make you come at the reading. I'm just happy Stand one night without. I think 